you're flying? Yeah. Whoa, you're flying like an airplane. Flying like an airplane. Ready to jump? What about swimming like a boat? <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're the Tolpins, and we're taking a three month trip around the country. Where are we? We're in the beach, in the lake. This is a lake, and it's clean and beautiful. Lake Ontario. It is amazing. Ready? <laughs> Here we are, the American side of the Niagara hot. Falls. Very hot. I wish yeah. I could get refreshed down there. <laughs> Look at this. Boat's the down boat. there. You want to go in the boat? Yeah. What do you think of the falls? I think it's really pretty. Of course. Pretty amazing, huh? There's the rest of the crew. She's just lathering it up over there, aren't you, all? pregnant mommy? Yeah. Loving it. Misty. Look at the power of these falls. What do you think, Drew? That is cool. Really cool, huh? So this is their training room where we'll see uh, so Jumpstead Junior <laughs> training people. Okay. And in the training room, they have they have some of the records in the company for managers out out across the country. And I was showing the kids because I was telling some stories about the past, how we broke some records. Norpac, and it wasn't me; it was a team of leaders that they know because they grew up with these leaders, actually. Yeah. And right here is the Norpac uh, records from uh, 2009 through 2012. And the last four years, I we did about $40 million in combined sales and broke records that still hold today because it was an incredible leadership team of people doing things. And then back here when I was a young buck, uh, district team sales of two million, Portland office for district team. And that was a combination of our office and other offices. So. Mm -hmm. It's fun for the kids to see a little history. And they really wanted to come see the factory. I emailed Jim on a Saturday, and he responded right away. And here we are on a Monday touring uh, this great Cutco factory. So. 40, 45, 50. We had a couple of people that worked here for 55 years. So what does that tell you guys? The factory workers work here this long. It's a good place to work. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they it's pretty cool. Here we are in the Cutco factory. That looks like a spendy robot. Cost a couple bucks. <laughs> Statue workers love what they're doing. All American made, USA, guaranteed forever. You love the cuckoo? Yes, I do. Yeah. Can you it on the inside? Yeah, they would think that's cool. All right. Get a sneak peek? All right. Here we go. Wow. You guys want to look at it? These are big bumping wheels. There's six of them in here. Six stations. You can tell they love what they do. Look at that. Wearing the brand. Now he has 
don't know how to run that robot. So we're transitioning to here. So as you made things more safe for the factory workers, yep. with using some robotics, how do you also make sure you have that balance so there's, there's, of creating there's, jobs there's, and all so that? So there's, there's a safety improvement with technology, there's a quality improvement, so they're not, the, the parts are more consistent, which is a good thing, and then there's a cost benefit too. We implement technology as we grow the business, so nobody ever loses their job to technology. Pizza gutter handles. What are these handles made of? So this is, it's a plastic, but it's more of a rubber plastic, whereas our knife handles are more of a hard plastic, so we can grind it and polish it. This is more like a rubber. So it's got the, what we call a soft grip. It feels good in your hand. That's the bird. Now, go over here and take that bird off by buffing it. This is the buff, what is this cloth? Here's the compound we're going to put on it. And this gets going to about 3,000 RPM, 3,500 RPM. Put the compound on it. You want to take that bird off. In three steps. You can see that white line, that's the bird. We're going to go over it, it's going to roll it over. The second time is going to get most of it, cut right off. The third time it'll be taken right off. I'm going to put a slight pressure, and I will have it for that, hopefully. You got it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Just, a, just right. in case something happens, you don't want. So, Cutco tour today, Ange. What happened today? <laughs> well, we got to come to the Cutco Cutlery Factory. You can see their sign right there. And what's cool about Cutco is that everything here is made in America. They have, um, they're also producing K-Bar knives, which the military uses, but some of the metal they get from Germany. Otherwise, most of the metal for the knives comes from Pennsylvania, which is cool. Um, but we have a long history with Cutco. This is where we met. And we did meet that way. I was running an office, branch office. We're both college students, and yeah. uh, we met that way. That's another story. But uh, 17 years building business with the company, we did about 100 million in uh, total sales. Yeah. Uh, we had Washington, Oregon. The last four years, we did about 40 million. Broke all the records. So God was very gracious to us. The great experience provided for our family. Yeah. Great way. So Isaac used to come here every year for. Um, with his branch managers and district managers, and they do a Cutco tour, the new ones, the new ones yeah. and they do a tour of the Cutco factory that we just got to do with our kids. And it's pretty cool to be able to watch how the knives are made start to finish in one building. They ship about, the uh, in the summer months, he said 10,000 knives a day. They, they process 20,000 knife orders day. And what it's an honor. We got to see John Welpley and uh, Steve Porzak, some yeah. old friends, leaders of the company, and Jim Stitt Jr., his CEO. And he actually took us on the tour himself yeah. all the see, way around. That was really and, sweet. And uh, just, just uh, meant, meant a lot. Really appreciate it with all those years uh, doing business together. So Yeah, it was really fun for the kids too because Isaac's told the younger kids stories. The older kids all remember being really involved with the vector, with the sales side of Cutco and all of the managers that we worked with over the years, but for them to be able to see how the knives are made, and to see, um, you know, just the plaques that even Isaac had on the wall after hearing the stories was kind of cool. Yeah, so uh, all American made, 68 years I believe or so, uh, guaranteed forever. Anything happens, send them back. Oh my gosh, you guys, so the ultimate, I don't know, Isaac and uh, Jim, they had a surprise for me in 2011, wasn't it? I think so. 2011, we every year we would host a huge Christmas party for our managers. And so we had about 100 people that would come on average. Yep. It grew from 40 to over 100 people um, the last few years that we were doing it. And one year, Isaac actually presented me with a red Ultimate set, yeah. which there are only two that have ever been made even yeah. to this day. Kelsey and I are getting work done here in Olean, New York. We had a great factory tour yesterday. Uh, we 
Jim Stith, CEO. Just, uh, just an incredible experience. And now getting stuff done. What you working on today? I'm working on editing some stuff. Oh yeah, with your consulting business. That's pretty cool. Contracts. Yeah. Oh, you know. So check this place out. It's the best place. Union Tea. I should say coffee, I think, because the coffee is good too, but it's not in the name. They have a lack of coffee shops here in Olney. Best knives in the world, but not a lot of coffee. So that's something to work on, Olean. But uh, great times.